Okay, so we're gonna try and start posting a little bit more often. So we're gonna have our normal big videos on Thursday and maybe throw in a small one in between to get you guys over to Thursday on Mondays. So uh, we're gonna be throwing out just a few little things, maybe five, 10 minute videos, probably closer to five. And uh, we'll just see how you guys like it. Hopefully it works out fine. All right, so right now I'm working on getting the power steering fluid container moved on the drift stang. Uh, it has been sitting up front in its regular spot that it was meant to by Ford, but now I am trying to bring it up here close to the firewall. I already mounted it in there. It's just cheap here with this little fastener that I got to go over. I'm gonna run the lines down through there. It does clear the hood. I've already put the hood on to check to make sure everything clears. Nothing fancy. It's not anything that you're going to look at at a car show and be like, oh my God, that is so amazing. But it works for what I need it to do. It doesn't need to be fancy. It doesn't be super classy. This is just to go out, have some fun in, drift around, and it's going to serve its purpose. So why do more than what I really need to to just go out and have a little bit of fun? So I know you guys saw when we picked up the s550 mustang that we had sitting over on the side of the garage that is now gone but i have found another one i'm looking at picking that one up it's more of a whole car wasn't banged up as bad as the last one was that'll be a little bit more of a in-depth cleaner looking build this here was our first drift car that we had ever built okay we did this on a very very limited budget and i think it turned out well it served its purpose it looks cool we just need to get it moving cool if for anything i'm just kicking stuff all over the damn garage you put liquids into a container so they don't spill and then you end up kicking it all over the garage and now you got to clean it and if you've probably heard me say in other videos this car is up for sale but it hasn't sold yet so if we do keep it we are going to be have them do some changes to it so it's probably going to go on some coilovers we're going to change out some of the old adjustable parts put some new updated things on there. I'm gonna get a set of wheels that match and stop running on those MSRs. Not that there's anything wrong with them, but I do like the look of the American muscle wheels. So I'll probably change those all out, all the way around. Uh, interior, I don't think I really need to change much on the car, but um, who knows? If we keep it, we wanna start having more fun with it, we're gonna to have to do something. I do know down here at Lone Star Drift, if you have a car that's not turbo, they want you to have a muffler on it. This has no mufflers. So we're probably gonna do something nifty like uh, side pipes on this. I don't wanna run anything out of the back, but I think the side pipes on this will look neat. Something like the, the Curvinis or something like that. But we'll see what we do with it. I need to get back to putting this power steering fluid container up here, running the lines to it. Uh, I also need to get started on finishing up the radiator move to the back. Uh, the enclosure's done. We just need to get the radiator mounted back there, the fan, and run the lines. Uh, it's been a two-year project. Uh, that's been back there for a while, so that definitely needs to get finished. Okay, so I went to AutoZone. I picked up some line here. It's about four feet of line. I got it for like 25 bucks. They cut it for you. Got the original clamps back on the container. Then I took what appears, I would say, to be a section from uh, an old coffee table, I think it was, that I had had, along with these pieces that actually came off the car as fasteners, put them in through here to the inner structure of the car. I went inside to get myself a good cold beer, root beer, and we're all out. So now I gotta sit here and get sugar lit on Sunkissed. Okay, so the canister is mounted back up. As you can see, I went ahead and put it through the holes that I showed y'all. Got the lines running down in through here. Underneath the air filter. Come around the booster, and then we'll go back down here in just a second. So I finished moving the power steering fluid over by the firewall. And ran the lines down to the pump. Tucked them in so you can't really see them. And then I cleared out some of the wiring that I had going across the front of the engine bay still. Rerouted that up and around for the headlights. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe below. If you want to see any of our other videos, we got a whole list of them over here to the side. Make sure that you watch all those. Check out next Thursday's video where we're going to be at Lone Star Drift round one here in Houston. After that, we're going to start posting up some of our stuff from last week's autocross. Until then, see you later. Peace.